Bernie Rosari, Tom Poitras. Overtime again? Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, we want to get extra minutes in the season. You know, I think we're trying to we get the Fordham game from early in the year when it rained, and now we get a couple overtime games, get some extra minutes. I guess maybe the guys want some fitness or something. Extra yeah, fitness. Uh, this was a, it was humid one, um, and body scores the goal in the first half, and that's got to be good for you guys you heading into the break. And in the second half, I thought the goal that they scored, uh, they were on the attack for a good amount of time. And then I thought the defense just really got tired and, you know, kind of, not to say they gave up, but ball bounced around a little bit and then found their back in that. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> Connor Yaney got his eye split open. You know, he got caught an elbow in the side of the head and, and split his eye. And there was about a 12 or 15 minute period when he was out of the game because yeah. of it. And, and that really hurt us, you know. He's a real steadying influence for us. And when we had to move guys around and we had to adjust our positions a little bit, you know, we didn't manage it very well, you know, from the bench really, and, and you know, from our standpoint, from the coaches and myself, and we didn't do a good job on the field figuring out that, you know, we need to do a better job adjusting to it as well. I thought that the, and I had to say it on the air, I thought the referees kind of lost control towards the tail uh, end of the second half and started letting little things go by. And how does that change the game plan? Because uh, where normally we're against Penn State, even though you ended in a tie, you know, they were really strict on what they were doing. It, it became a little chaotic. You know, the game was a little hectic and a little chaotic. And, you know, and I thought our guys did a really good job to, to keep their composure. Um, you know, there were some things said on the field and things done on the field that maybe, you know, are pretty shocking for a lot of people and they happen and, and our guys did a great job keeping their composure um, it would have been easier to, to deal with it and confront it but they walked away which is a harder thing to do and I give them a lot of credit for that. I thought you guys had some good quality scoring chances and their goalkeeper made six saves I think half of them uh, really were game savers. Yeah I mean the one there on the header there for sure yeah. we thought we had an open goal and he came out of nowhere got his hand on it so that was a huge save and then he had one down low where he made a big save so you know we had our chances um, the good side for us is we're creating those chances and opportunities and now we just need to do a good job of finishing and concentrating you know but every week we've gotten better so heading you know into next week where at the end of the week we'll start the conference play we'll be ready for uh, you know those games and i think we'll be excited to get going all right well we appreciate the time uh, the boys will wind up hitting the road on tuesday they'll travel to sacred heart uh and another in-state rival then they'll come back here next saturday to host boston university to start america east play keep up to date on hartfordhawks.com